Good day, favorites. Welcome back to another episode of your favorite tutor. And today is your favorite tutor on physics. All right, be taking questions. I've been taking questions, and then this question was thrown to me. It's a past question. Why a past question? It says, a ball thrown vertically upward reaches a velocity, a, reaches a maximum height of 50 meter above the level of projection. Calculate time taken to reach maximum height. Two, speed of the throw. And of course, acceleration to your gravity is what? 10 meter per second square. So let's use the diagram to illustrate this. If this is the ball thrown vertically upward, vertically, vertically upward with that initial velocity, initial velocity is not stated in the word, in the question. At maximum height, because you know to what maximum height, the maximum height is what 50 meters. That is the word, the height from point of projection. But the maximum height, the height of the ball is what 50 watt meter. Then at maximum height, the final velocity is what zero. Okay. So these are the, what, the parameters. The final velocity is what zero at maximum height. Maximum height is what 50 meter. Then the initial velocity. Initial velocity is also unknown. Then of course, acceleration due to gravity is what 10 meter per second square. And we are looking for what? Right here, time taking to reach maximum height. Time taking to reach maximum height. All right, the equation, you require the equation to look for this. You require the equation for this question. Under motion is what H equals to a U T plus or minus one all over two G T square. Now the ball is going up against gravity, so we are using what? Minus. Now, the point is that we are looking for what? Time. We are looking for time. And we don't have the initial velocity. The initial velocity is unknown. This is the required equation to look for this one. The required equation for this question. So let us Get the word the initial velocity using this equation of motion v equals to what u plus or minus g t. So therefore we are using what minus the ball is against gravity. So what at maximum height v this is zero u what we are looking for minus this is what ten t time is unknown. So take 10 minus 20 to the other side, change so 20. So we have u is equals to the initial velocity equals to what 10 t. Let's call this equation star at the case of b. All right, we'll go back to our required equation. We now have the value for what the initial velocity. So let's go back to the required equation. At maximum height, maximum height is what 50 equals to u. u is what? 10 t. So I have what? 10 t. Times what? t. So 10 t what? Square. Minus 1 all over 2. g. Acceleration is what? 10. Then what? t square. So right here we can say 2 here 1. 3 into 10. This is what? 5. So we have what? 50 equals to what? 20 square minus what 30 square. Now these are what these values they are like terms. You can actually subtract. So we have what 50 equals to 20 square minus 30 square is what 50 what square. And of course, if we make t subject formula right here, divide both sides by five. Divide both sides by what five. We have what t square is equals to what. 10. Yes, equals to what? 10. So therefore, we take the square root of what? 10. 
take the square root of 10, therefore this is remainder was 3.16 watts seconds. So this is the time taken to reach what maximum height. All right, the map figure two. We are looking for what speed of the throw. Speed of the throw. Speed of the throw is the is the same as what initial velocity. So we are looking for what the initial what velocity. And the initial velocity is is a uh, ten what t. Initial velocity is of 10 t. That's the, what, the speed of the throw. So therefore, u is equal to what, 10 t. So therefore, we have u equals to what, 10. 10 times what, what is t? 3.16. So the initial velocity right here is what? 31.6 meter per second. So this is the answer for the word, the speed of the word throw. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of this world episode. I remain your favorite tutor. Please comment, like, and then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'm still taking questions. Thank you, and God bless you.